My name is Charity Dean. I am the president and CEO of Metro Detroit Black Business Alliance. Visible authentic leadership really means being an influential woman. And what I mean by that is visible authentic leadership is women that are in places of power, they're making decisions and they're authentic. Um, they are committed to giving back and they are committed uh, to bringing up other women with them. As a president and CEO of the Metro Detroit Black Business Alliance, it's my job to advocate for black owned businesses um, in the region. And so for women that are looking to get into uh, any leadership position or women that are looking to expand their network and to grow professionally, my advice is to give until you can give no more. One of the things that I've learned is that the level of influence that you have is directly connected to the level in which you give to others, to the level of your service. Um, other advice I would say is self-care is really important. And a lot of times we think about self-care as relaxing, maybe having a massage, and there's places for that. But sometimes self-care means saying no um, to things that sound really exciting, but we just can't. Sometimes self-care means being accountable, um, setting goals, and then holding yourself accountable to accomplish those goals. The number one thing that will help further women's uh, recovery, economic recovery from the pandemic, um, it really re requires two things. It requires a policy shift and it requires a cultural shift. Culturally, um, women are the primary domestic partners. Um, when the pandemic hit, more women than men stayed home to rear their children as they were trying to explore virtual school. Um, and so because of that, um, it really has had a horrible uh, impact on women's economic ability to earn and to grow in, uh, in professional life. And so what we really need to see is more women at, in leadership positions on corporate boards, um, in government and in nonprofit boards, um, it's CEO positions. When women uh, have more access to those roles, then you'll see a policy shift because women can relate and they understand the challenges that occur um, in our society. And as you see more women making decisions that really lend toward equitable partnership when it comes to taking care of the home, when you see women leading and, and making better policies, you'll see a cultural shift as well.